Hi everyone, this will be a simple knitting shawl. This yarn is will be your colors, St. Moritz, 1000 meters, but we're going to use only 500 meters of this yarn. I'm going to use a Knit Pro Carbons needles, size 3.25 millimeters, and you will need a really long cord. Choose the longest one you can get. And we need four markers and one tapestry needle. This is the combined knitting pattern, but you can follow these instructions if you need any other knitting type. So for example, American, English, West European or anything else. This doesn't matter. Start by forming a ring. Put the long string under the ring and pull it through. You'll get a loop. Insert your needle through the loop and tighten. Make sure it's not too tight. You can adjust by pulling the short tail. This is our first stitch and we have to cast on seven more. This will be the endless cast on. Go under and through the stitch. Grab the yarn and pull it through the stitch. Make your loop bigger and put it back onto the first needle. That's our second stitch. One more time. Go through the stitch, grab the yarn, pull through, enlarge and put it back. Make sure your stitches are loose. So these are three. Continue. These are our 8 stitches. Now we're going to knit row 1. In this row we will knit all stitches. Insert your needle from above, grab the yarn, pull through and take off. Now the front loop is loose. That means we have to knit through the front loop. Insert your needle from the bottom, grab the yarn, pull through and take off. One more time. From the bottom, grab the yarn, pull through and take off. This will be row 2. From now on, we will take off the first stitch. Always. Always take off the first stitch. The front loop is loose. Take off through the front loop. Now knit one stitch. Then set a marker. Just put it onto your needle. Yarn over once. The markers will show us where to increase stitches. A yarn over is an increase. Now knit one stitch. Yarn over and set a marker. The next two stitches are in the center. Knit them too. Set a marker also here. Yarn over, knit one stitch and yarn over. Set a marker. Knit two stitches. This is our back row and in each back row we will transform the yarn overs into stitches. Don't forget to take off the first stitch. Knit the next stitch. Yarn over, knit one stitch. 
move the marker from one needle to another. Knit the yarn over through the back loop. Knit the next stitch through the front loop because the front loop is loose. And knit this yarn over through the back loop. Move the marker. Knit 2 stitches. And move also this marker. Knit the yarn over through the back loop. Knit 1. And knit through the back loop. Move the marker. Knit 2 stitches. So that's our work so far. We're going to increase always between the markers. We're going to yarn over always after the first marker and before the second marker. And also yarn over after the third and before the fourth marker. These two stitches before, these two last stitches and the two in the center will be always the same. We'll have always only two stitches and we'll always knit them. Now we're going to knit the stockinette stitch between the markers. For this, Take off the first stitch, knit the second stitch. Move the marker. Yarn over, knit the three stitches in between. Yarn over, move the marker. Knit 2 stitches. Move the marker. Yarn over. Knit 3 stitches. Yarn over. Move the marker. And knit the last 2 stitches. Turn your work. For the stockinette stitch, we have to purl between the markers. The stitches on the sides and the center stitches will be knit stitches. This doesn't change. Take off the first stitch. Knit 1. Move the marker. Now, how to purl. Take your yarn to the front. Go from behind under the yarn over. Grab the yarn and pull it through. Take off. Now a usual stitch. Here the front loop is loose. And here we purl through the front loop. One more time. Pull the yarn over through the back loop. Move the marker. Knit 2. Move also this marker. Take it onto the front and pull the yarn over through the back loop. Purl 3 stitches through the front loop. Purl the yarn over through the back loop. Move the marker. Knit the last 2 stitches. And turn your work.